problem many women face when they're ready to have a baby, infertility, but there is hope, and Dr. Steve is here with more. Good morning to you again. Hey, good morning, Tamsin. Good to see you this morning. This weekend on the Dr. Steve Show, I'm taking a look at infertility, specifically women who are trying to get pregnant and can't, even when their doctors say there's nothing wrong. I'll show you a preview. It's not such an uncommon problem. About 10% of all women in the United States between the ages of 15 and 44 have difficulty getting or staying pregnant. Age, smoking, excessive drinking, stress, a poor diet, even athletic training can be factors that affect your ability to conceive. But what do you do if you're not in a risk group and despite the doctors telling you that everything's okay, it really isn't. Meet Anna and Erica young, happy, seemingly healthy women. And according to what seemed to be an endless stream of doctors, both were told they should have no problem getting pregnant. But they did. After years of trying and testing, and in Erica's case, multiple miscarriages, both felt as if the doctors were missing something. And that something was standing in the way of the baby they desperately hoped for. I knew that there was a problem. Um, and even at that point, I was being told that there was no problem, this is normal. So I'm like, what happened? Why? If I'm fine, why can't I get pregnant? It's at that point that you start to doubt yourself and not your doctors. And the emotions, especially depression and guilt, set in. A lot of guilt. Did I do this? Did I run the wrong way? We went through a lot. It was a, it was a bad journey. You know, you start looking inward. Did I do this? Was it my fault? But it's not their fault. The problem was they weren't going to the right doctors. For Erica and Anna, their search ended in New Brunswick, New Jersey at St. Peter's University Hospital and the National Gianna Center for Women's Health and Fertility. The doctors at St. Peter's are on the cutting edge of NAPRO technology and its patented fertility system. Let's just say that miracles are being made in New Brunswick. Now, I'm not going to tell you how it all turned out for Anna and Erica, but you're going to have to tune into the Dr. Steve Show this Sunday to find out. If you or someone you know, though, is trying to get pregnant, you don't want to miss this segment. If you can't be home, set your DVR. That's Sunday night, 6.30 p.m., right here on PIX11. Good you show. Know, I know my, my sister-in-law struggled with it for a long mm -hmm. time. It took about four years, and uh, they just had their first baby almost a, almost a year ago now. Yeah, it really so, is a blessing, especially yeah. for people who try. It can be just devastating mm -hmm. and so frustrating for couples. Especially when you're hearing there's nothing wrong. Yeah. That's, that's you know, there's, so there's no problem they're trying to tackle. Yeah, and then the blame game comes. It's right. him, it's her. I know. And, yeah, I it's know. awful. All right, Dr. Steve, thanks so much. You Appreciate it. it. Francis, we'll send it back over to you. All right, Tamsin, thank you. Your time is now 817.